it's not even half past nine. I was just staying home for a parcel. Also, well done, eagle-eyed amongst you who sent me comments about the fact that we'd moved house since the last time I made these videos three years ago. That is true. We moved out of the house we've been in for 14 years. No more working with this view. We had been trying to sell that for years. In fact, one of the main reasons I initially took a permanent desk at the co-workspace was so that I could get my iMac off of our dining table so that the house didn't look such a cluttered mess. Do you know what? For years we had been trying, for years we had been frustrated, but we hadn't been able to move. But eventually it happened. And I'm gradually coming around to the fact that things happen for a reason, you know? Like if you miss out on something, it's often for a reason. And it might not be until years down the line where you suddenly look back and go, oh yeah, actually. And as it happens, my iMac is still sitting on that same dining table. And actually, I kind of like the reminder that this is where I spent so many hours at home. And whilst lots of things have changed, there's kind of like a, a route to where it all began. I like that. Mm. I don't really have a home office, but this is a desk that we bought during lockdown. It folds away and is normally under the bed, so I thought I'd dig that out. I've got my daughter's swivel chair. Don't tell her. And actually, it's been really productive. I started off with the freelancer magazine co-working, and really, it does help. You feel like you have to sit down and focus and do something because you're not alone psychology. It's Wednesday. I actually woke up at half past six in order to do a workout. I had a headache and I thought about pushing on through and I thought, oh, I could go back to bed. So I did. I didn't get up until eight o'clock. Marvellous. I mean, when our kids were younger, I wouldn't have even been able to do that. That wouldn't have been an option. They can get ready themselves now. Oh, and for that matter, if I had a proper job, I wouldn't have been able to get away with it either because I would have expected to have been somewhere at a certain time. So hurrah for both of those things. And I stepped out the house within a minute. The wind picked up, the rain picked up. And I'm now really rather wishing I'd stayed in bed. <laughs> Do you know, it's now quarter to one and I've only just managed to dry out my jeans. <laughs> I was so wet. I've spent this morning editing a future episode of Homo Sapiens, which is great. It's not going out till April, but April includes the Easter holiday. So I'm keen if they've got any pre-recorded interviews to get those done now, get ahead as it were. Well, I was a busy day. I decided to go and work in the coffee shop next so she wasn't on her own. I'm doing like a live version of doing it for the kids podcast, but it's only in the community, We're doing it for the kids community that is. And we actually have the questioner on the call with us. It's really good fun. So I was on Instagram, saw a message from someone I'm connected with on there about potential video work and I dropped them a DM and we've since been emailing and I've now quoted for a project. Um, so fingers crossed that comes off. Yeah, honestly, if I, <laughs> if I hadn't have been on Instagram and seen that story, I wouldn't have known about it. So it's not always a waste of time. It's Wednesday evening. Yes, I'm in the office, but that's because our son is doing a music concert at school in between dropping him off and seeing it, there's like a, 
a big window of time. So I've come in to do the newsletter, which needs to go out because we've got a live Q and A and a live episode, episode 300. And people need to remind me. <laughs> I've got to tell people. Also, I've created this vlog. I've got to tell people. Can't just do these things and post about it a few times. You've got to keep telling people. computer is still starting up. It's 10 past nine and the co-working by our host starts in five minutes. I'm not sure I could go back to something where I had to be somewhere at a certain time all the time. But here's a warning, desk eating sushi is not a great idea. Like, if you're not properly paying attention to those chopsticks and you drop a huge piece of salmon into your soy sauce, it goes everywhere. Hence, <laughs> we are live for episode 300! Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. And we're done. I mean, I'm kind of like on a high of having done that, but I need to get this episode out because it's going to go out on Sunday. So I'm going to go and make a cup of tea and then come back and start editing. We finished the podcast by half past two and it's now half past five and I've done the video edit that's mixing out and I've pretty much laid out the audio edit. This morning when we were doing the co-working, I started creating the web page. So actually for tomorrow, for Saturday, all I've really got to probably do is do the transcript and get the website built. Yeah, I am gonna leave that until tomorrow. It's tempting while I'm on a roll just to keep going. Quite a crazy end to a week. <laughs> unusual for me is to work on a Sunday but I'm helping um, them out the, a podcast that I work on really regularly had a recording session happening Sunday morning they asked me if I could do it in fact they were doing two so the producer was doing one and I'm doing the other one and that meant I'm not a horse rider and what's funny is yes Creating 300 episodes is amazing. It feels crazy, but like, I could never have imagined what starting that podcast would actually mean to my life. For that matter, what it would mean to other people is because I get so many emails from people who've started freelancing off the back of being inspired by it and listening to that podcast for years. Everything that's come from it, particularly the community, the friendship and the sense of genuinely not being alone and being amongst others, being freelance, 
I know it means a lot to other people, but it means a lot to me too. And it all came from just sitting at that kitchen table and hitting record eight years ago. So yeah, 300 episodes is a lot, but it's also a lot more than that. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for watching. If you've not already hit subscribe, hit subscribe, hit like, turn on the bell so you know about new videos. And of course, check out episode 300 of the podcast. Beingfreelance.com has all the links to the community as well. It would be lovely to see you in there. Have a great week being freelance.